I call the heart the crystal vase. The oh. crystal vase, shining, beauty, Allah created, Allah who knows samawati wal ard. What happens as we live? It becomes foggy, a little bit dirty, more dirty, more dirty, and sometimes becomes black. What is this dirt? Anger, jealousy, mm -hmm. lying, loving this life, attachment, competition. I want to be the best. I'm going to crush them, the business, all these. Backbiting. <laughs> and sins, exactly. Yeah. All the mm. sins. Sins comes in. Yeah. What does purification does? It's a process. Basically, simple. That crystal that became with, with time, dirty, if you want to use this word, yeah. foggy, you're cleaning it. Polishing it. Polishing yeah. it. And then it comes back to the original crystal that the focus is, I am here as a khalifa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am here as stewards on this earth. Mm -hmm. We all are talking about it these days. Mm -hmm. How? And here also medicine comes in, subhanAllah. When you have a wound and the wound is infected, any kind of a wound, what is the first thing you do? You clean the wound. And then... You, you remove anything in your surroundings that will make the wound infected again. Mm -hmm. And then you bring things that will help heal the wound. That's taskia. That's purification. You bring back. The heart is wounded. Mm -hmm. Jealousy, backbiting, hate, no belief in Allah, mm -hmm. all these things, right? And then I'm going to gradually remove it. Remove it. Remove the harm. Yeah. Remove the harm. The sin, the... Clean it. And basically, literally, I tell the sisters all yeah. the time. It's like you're bringing, you're cleaning a, a, a dish. You're washing a dish. The dish is your heart. And you're washing it. And if the dish is dirty, you're going to keep washing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So here you go. And by the way, purification of the heart, Taskiya, is one of the three messages that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, Muhammad, for us. Mm -hmm. The first thing in Surah Al-Baqarah, رَبَّنَا وَبَعَثْ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْهُمْ يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِكَ وَيُعَلِّمْهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ no. So this was the dua of Ibrahim. Sayyidina Ibrahim, exactly in Surah Al-Baqarah. That oh Allah sent to them, the people in, in Mecca, or his, his progeny. Yes. Uh, a Rasul from uh, amongst them. A messenger from amongst them, exactly. We will teach them. Yet to recite, recite. recite the verses of your verses to them. Uh huh. Yet to alayhim ayatika. And then. Wa yu'allimuhum. Wa yu'allimuhum al kitaba. They teach, teach them, them the book. book wal hikmah. Wal hikmah and wisdom. So the sunnah. sunnah the exactly, mashallah. Wa yuzakkihim. And purify. And purify. This is in the first dua of Sayyidina Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. If you flip this, this ayah is four times in the Quran. Mm -hmm. If you look at the second part, second time in Surah Al Baqarah, the sequence changed. Rabbana wa ba'athihim rasulam min anfusihim. Yatlu alayhim ayatika. And then, wa yuzakkihim. Wa yu'allimhum al kitaba wal hikmah. Once you are a Muslim, once you know, then. Taskiyah becomes, and some scholars tell you it's fardu'ayn, it's an individual obligation on every person. So in a nutshell, how do I do it? Number one, it's like memorizing the Qur'an. It's a process. It's not going to happen in a day. Allah, I always tell this to myself, Allah is capable of everything, mm -hmm. but it's a process. I wanted, I'll take the measures, remove the viruses, <laughs> right, yeah. and keep the cleaning yeah. Number one, in the process, you need to know, what is my problem? My problem is anger. And when yeah. I get angry, I disobey Allah, I say things, I hurt people. What is my problem? Jealousy. Why does she have it? I don't have it. She doesn't deserve it. My, my problem is I speak, and when I speak, I hurt people, backbiting, lying, putting people down, bullying, all these. Number one, identify by identifying yourself. Mm -hmm. Then take one by one. Simple company. As you said. Yeah. Suhba 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 suhba. Oh. If the suhba around me, if my friends, I know when I go out with them, it's going to end up in backbiting. I need yeah. to remove. That's a virus. Definitely. If I know 
if I am going to be doing certain things and if it doesn't work perfectly, I'm going to get upset. I need to move away from these things. Mm -hmm. I know if I, uh, for example, um, if I'll be with this, if I go to her house, I'm going to feel ill inside me. She has a bigger house than mine. She has four bedrooms. I have three that I need to cut down from this social interaction. So number one is identify what is your problem and what's causing it. So aim, knowledge, mm -hmm. learn, learn. And the more I learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more I learn about my shortcomings. Then number two is mujahada, as we call it. And this is the biggest struggle. Say, say. And the process is very easy. Four things less and one thing is more. Very easy. And this is Imam Ibn al-Qayyim put it beautifully. The four less, which we absolutely don't do. What do you think? Less talk. Yeah. Less sleep. Food. Uh-huh. Less food. <laughs> yeah. And less interaction with people. Mm. And more? Dhikr. Dhikr. Exactly. MashaAllah. More dhikr of Allah. No. The cornerstone is this one. No. And uh, uh, there is a saying attributed to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Remembering, remembrance of Allah is the cleaning agent of the heart. Mm -hmm. Remember the crystal? Yeah. Like we put soap, you put it in the dishwashing, dish spray. <laughs> it's dhikr. And yeah. dhikr, any form of remembering yeah. Allah, reading Quran, memorizing, asking Allah for forgiveness, um, doing morning and evening uh, adhkar, saying subhanallah, yeah. reflecting on the nature and you say, Ya Allah, what beauty is this? Yeah. Who are you? You know, that's a dhikr. And this process continues. It's not one day or two. And you will see yourself gradually changing. Mm -hmm. Much more calmer. Much more appreciative of what Allah gave you. Less complaining. Mm -hmm. Which is the, the, the problem of these days. Yeah. Less, less, less complaining. Less attached to the material things. If you have it, alhamdulillah. If you don't have it, alhamdulillah. Mm. And then the more you get there, then you start getting so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Quran makes you cry, standing in salah, the night, all these. So it's a process. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. What is really beautiful is any time and every time I teach this wherever, and I teach it all over, I'm not only in the States, and people really these days, that's what they are missing. It's like, wow. This is what I need to do. I need to figure out that me continuously living in these viruses around me yeah. and feeding the viruses, it is making me sicker and sicker spiritually. 